What's going on everybody? I'm Rachel Vanetta and this is your 2015 preview for the Chicago Fire. Get ready for some hot, hot preview action, Fire fans. And Fire haters, get ready to hate. All right, first let's start with the old news. The Fire set a league record with 18 ties last season. 18! And with just six wins, they finished 2014 outside the playoffs for the second straight season, finishing ninth out of 10 teams in the East. Now for the new news. Frank Gallup has restocked the cupboard with three. Three new designated players. We've got Ghanaian forward David Akam, Nigerian forward Kennedy Igboen Anike, and Scottish midfielder Sean Maloney. The Fire also signed former Southampton striker Goulet de Prado. He's Brazilian, and to bolster the defense, the Fire added another Brazilian, center back Adilton. And holy shit! Harry Ship is back after a stellar rookie campaign. So much hot off-season action in Fireland. So how will the new look Fire line up? And where does 2013 league MVP Mike McGee fit into all this? Jason Zagini, break it down for me, bro. Thanks, Rach. Yallop definitely has some options with this new mix of players. And we could see the 4-4-2 diamond formation that you see behind me or potentially a 4-3-3 attacking look from the fire. But the idea here is that Chicago went out and they spent the money on these three new attacking designated players. Yallop is gonna wanna get them all on the field. They're probably gonna have to wait a little while to get Mike McGee and Patrick Nyako back from injury. So depth may be an issue early, but remember, they have Quincy Ameriqua, who was a serviceable starter last year, making a good spark off the bench. That's the attacking side, but the questions in Chicago are really going to revolve around how will they hold up in the back. Last year, it was not pretty. Moving back for good from midfield is Jeff Lorenowitz. He will pair at center back with Ada Ilton. Another newcomer to keep an eye on is Jovin Jones. If these reinforcements on the back line can improve things for Chicago, you can see the talent they have in the attack. It could be a good season for the men in red. Now the good news about Mike McGee being injured is that he'll have more time to tweet. If you guys aren't following him on Twitter, you are doing it all wrong. I will now do a dramatic reading of Magic Mike's best tweets. <coughs> best Pilates class ever. Injured on the first day of preseason is exactly like Christmas morning, except Santa forgot you. Hashtag, my pain is my motivation. 2014 felt like five minutes underwater. Everyone go tweet this video to at McGee9 so he knows how much we love him. Now superlatives are usually held for the yearbook at season's end, but who wants to wait until the end of the year? We asked a bunch of MLS experts for their thoughts on what superlatives the Fire were in line to win this season. The Chicago Fire, the most improved team in 2015. Most likely to have a designated player right in the bench all season long. Most likely to cut a designated player by mid-season. Most likely to cut a DP by mid-season. Most likely to have the newcomer of the year on their roster. Three new DPs, Frank. One of them's got a hit. Most likely to use a field player in goal. Mike McGee obviously has a lot of experience and has played valuable minutes in goal. Most likely to use a field player in goal. Mike McGee, anybody? Most likely to tie every game this season because let's face it, that's what Chicago Fire does. Chicago Fire, most likely to have the Rookie of the Year in the team on Matt Polster. What is your view on 2015 for the Chicago Fire? Can their new DP crew return the club to past glory, or will it be another playoffless fall for the men in red? Put your thoughts into words and sentences below, or just yell them at the screen really loud. And programming note, cancel all of your Friday night and Sunday night plans for the rest of the year, because Friday and Sunday nights are your new nights to watch MLS on national television. Just go to MLSsoccer.com slash TV for all of the listings, and stay with MLSsoccer.com all season for league coverage. Yeah, Wait, I don't get any like, gear or like, some jerseys. I just did the preview. Come on. Whoa! New Chicago Fire Awake hit. I like it.